you have done. This is Eric Morecambe and Ernie Wise, and we would like to tell you about our film, That Riviera Touch. Yes, tell them about girls. The Riviera, the brilliant sunshine, and the golden sands, and the beautiful girls. In this film, we become the innocent dupes of an international jewel thief. But you must give the two Englishmen away for at least until midnight. Does he mean us? Yes. Oh, good. Give us a kiss. How's it going? Great. Great. A knockout. I've been here ten seconds. I haven't had my face slapped yet. If a horrible-looking thing comes rushing through that door with big bulging eyes, let him go. Why? It'll be me. Tell them about the body. No, not that body. I mean the other body. <laughs> Back to the girls. Tell them about when I played beach ball. Oh, yes, you were a knockout. But it has its compensations. Claudette. Ah, yes, Claudette. She is a lovely girl. But you must remember she was one of the crooks. She was only using us. Using us? That's right. Is that what they call it? Yes. Well, I'm all for it. Swimming with Claudette. Dinner with Claudette. Swimming with Claudette. Coffee with Claudette. Swimming with Claudette! Bed. With a hot cup of cocoa. Now that you're here, the moon has a soft glow. Haven't I got a wonderful voice? That's my voice. Well, go on. I can't. I've got my mouth full. <laughs> Tell them about the casino when I won all that money. A fine friend you turned out to be. Throw you out? Yes. How much does he owe? 220 francs, monsieur. Merci, monsieur. Now throw him out. Had it occurred to you that she's after your money? Well, that makes two of you then, doesn't it? Now, let's face it. She's better equipped than you are to get it. See the fight to the death of the poor tulip. Let me have a go. Yay! See Eric Morecambe and early wise in a torrid tale of romance and adventure. Suzanne Lloyd as the irresistible Claudette. Paul Stasino. Don't miss the spectacular breathtaking climax of that Riviera touch. There's no doubt about it. I think I may well be the next James Bond. For goodness sake, Paul! Oh!